The movie Born on the Fourth of July, with its wonderful performance by Tom Cruise, is only playing in four cities right now, but already it's the talk in movie circles from coast to coast. It's on the cover of Time Magazine, it's on the cover of Rolling Stone, and there seems to be no doubt at all that Tom Cruise is a front runner for this year's Academy Award as Best Actor. I wanted to serve my country. I couldn't wait to fight my first war. You look at, you look at in the 50s, uh, I mean, the idealistic Kennedy era, uh, the time where America did not question whatever the government wanted, that, that was the truth, you know, and they're not going to steer you, you know, we're the good guys, and uh, we're going to go out and get the bad guys, get the communists, and there was a lot of, a uh, tremendous amount of propaganda. In the old days in Hollywood, war pictures were filled with heroism, and war almost seemed like fun, especially when John Wayne was fighting it. Atta boys, give up, give them the old one, too. Born on the Fourth of July was co-written and directed by Oliver Stone, the same man who made the Oscar-winning Platoon. And for some people, this is the second half of the Platoon story, showing what happens when a young man is wounded in Vietnam and comes back home to face the anti-war movement and eventually to become a member of it. the public not distinguishing between the war and the warrior, uh, which is very, was very confusing. And also the fact that it was 13,000 miles away and it was, a, it was a coffee table television war uh, to a lot of people at home. And thinking that the men, I mean, it was very, a lot of confusion when he came home and a lot of, a lot of anger. Born on the 4th of July is certainly on my list of the 10 best films of 1989. And at about the time I saw this film, the newspapers and newscasts were filled with the upheaval in Eastern Europe with headlines from Poland, Czechoslovakia, and Hungary, from apologies from the Soviet Union for their invasion of Afghanistan and Czechoslovakia. It occurred to me that it would be a long time before an American government leader got up to apologize for our invasion of Vietnam. But then it occurred to me that maybe a movie like Born on the Fourth of July is an apology of sorts, and that maybe in America, our artists apologize for us instead of our politicians. I'm Roger Ebert.